Hi there. If we want to be able to move effectively in any situation, whether it be athletics, dancing, or simply walking down the street, it's important that we understand how to shift weight and how to change weight effectively. First, let me define for you the difference between shifting weight and changing weight. When we shift weight, we are simply shifting the spine or the center of gravity from one leg to the other leg. So I shift my weight to the left, to the right, to the left, and to the right. Changing weight is a little bit more complicated. Changing weight involves which leg I am rooted or tethered to. When I use my core properly, I can tether one leg to the ground, creating a root, which takes energy up from the ground through my leg to the spine, and I am moving around the axis of this leg and that root on the ground. So even though my spine is moving from side to side here, I am using my core to root my body to the right leg. So I'm essentially pivoting around this right leg axis, even if I step around it in different ways and shift back and forth, I am always rooted to this right leg. And I'm doing that with my right lower abdominal muscles that are rotating backwards, tucking the pelvis and pushing energy down into that right leg. When I'm doing that, my left lower abdominal muscles are inactive or not engaged because they're not going to root my left leg at the same time. We only keep root on one leg at a time. So I can pivot around my right leg in Tai Chi, if someone, someone were to try to push me over, I would be rooted to that right leg with my lower abdominal muscles versus if I allowed myself to get unrooted as I got pushed, meaning my lower abdominal muscles shift to this side, that would unroot my right leg and allow me to be pushed over. So in all situations, we're going to be rooting one leg or the other leg. One of the Tai Chi fundamental principles is never be double weighted. And in a sense, that means double rooted because our lower abdominal muscles root one leg at a time. If I show you from the side position, I'm rooted to my right leg. If I root my left leg at the same time, what happens is you get this double tucking of the pelvis and creates an unstable position. It also keeps my center of gravity split between the two legs in a way I have no axis to pivot around. Now you can see me trying to pivot around the axis of my legs, and you see I can't really go anywhere. I'm stuck because I don't have a single root. When I root one leg, now I have a single root to move around, and I can move much more effectively as long as I keep that root. I can unroot myself voluntarily and then root the other leg and balance in one position, and then replace and decide what leg at what point in time is going to have the root on it. So let's talk about how we use our core properly to shift weight or to shift the root or the weight change. We are always using three parts of our core to control any movement. I'm using my upper waist rotation, the upper abdominal muscles, this controls direction that I'm facing. I use my left upper abdominal muscles to turn the body to face to the right. I use my right upper abdominals to turn my body to face to the left. The abdominal muscles on either side of the body rotate towards the opposite side. I use my lower abdominal muscles to root the body or root the leg. I turn my left lower abdominal muscles back into the left to root my left leg, and I turn my right lower abdominal muscles to the right to root my right leg. The upper and lower abdominal muscles on the same side of the body turn in opposite directions. If I'm going to give an example of doing a strike with my right palm, I'm using my upper abdominal muscles on the right to project my right arm forward and to the left, and I'm using my right lower abdominal muscles to turn back 
pushing energy down through my leg into the ground. And at the same time, I'm also going to use my gluteus maximus on the right to push down into the ground at the same time, all combining to project the right arm out. So I have my upper abdominal muscles on the right turning to the left, my lower abdominal muscles on the right turning to the right, and activation of my gluteus maximus muscles all to make that one movement of projecting the palm. One of my subscribers asked a question, how can I shift weight without using my glutes? In this action of striking with the palm, I used my glutes because I wanted to do an aggressive motion striking out with the palm. So I needed all of the energy possible pushing down against the ground to project my body to the left. But not all movements require that sort of aggressive action pushing against the ground. If I wanna just shift my weight from right to left like this, I don't need to push against the ground because there's no force that I'm trying to overcome. Gravity is not pulling me back to the right. Gravity is pulling me straight down. So I don't need any force of muscle to be able to shift from one side to the other. All I need to do is change the route from right to left, and I change my upper torso rotation from right to left. And at the same time, if I flex my right hip and lift it up, I'm gonna change all that at the same time, and that's gonna shift my weight and change my weight at the same time. So now I'm balanced on the left leg. I did not have to push myself over to the left before changing the weight. All I need to do is use all of the core muscles in conjunction with each other, turning energy towards that side. Upper torso rotation, lower torso rotation, and then I simply lift my right hip up and my weight is effectively shifted and changed at the same time. I can also shift weight to the left without changing the root and without using the glutes by continuing to flex my right hip, root the right leg with my lower abdominal muscles, and turn my upper torso on the right to the left. And I am now shifting in a much gentler way from right to left. But I am not pushing. I'm not pushing down with my glutes. So I don't need energy from my glutes pushing down against the ground. I have my root pushing against the ground, which is the lower abdominal muscles turning back, rotating my pelvis back to the right. That energy from the lower abdominal muscles is what is effectively pushing off the ground, not the glutes. And then I'm using my right arm or my right upper torso to project the right arm in a much more gentle fashion. At this point in time, I'm actually flexing my right hip, meaning I am trying to lift my right hip, but it is the root from the lower abs that are keeping the right leg connected to the ground, not my glutes. If I were to stay in this position and now activate my glutes, what would happen is I would push myself over. That's an ineffective movement because I actually lost my root by using too much force against the ground. I already had the right amount of force with my lower abdominal muscles turning towards the right, lifting my right leg up and turning my upper torso to the left. By pushing with the glutes, I push myself over, which clearly is not what I wanted to do. Using the wrong combination of muscles is common for many people in walking, athletics, and dancing. I know from my dance group, some of the dancers who are less experienced have an issue when they're trying to dance in a relaxed manner, shifting from one side to the other, but they can't stop from popping themselves up because they're trying to use their glutes to shift weight instead of just using the core in the right manner. I am not using my glutes to change weight. I'm using my hip flexors and my lower abdomen to change weight, to shift weight, and to move fluidly there's no pushing action here. I am not using my glutes in any manner. I'm 
lifting my right hip. Now I'm lifting my left hip and I'm changing the root using my lower abdomen from one side to the other at the same time. That's a much different action than pushing from left to right. That's using my glutes. I don't need to do that in a lot of situations or even in most situations. So it's important to understand that if I want to shift weight from this side to that side, fluidly without force, I shouldn't be pushing down against the ground with my gluteus maximus muscles in the butt. I am pushing down against the ground with the root and at the same time flexing, pulling forward essentially with my right hip. Once we release the root, you can see that that right hip was flexing all the time. It was only the root that was keeping the leg connected to the ground. If you understand that, you'll be able to move and shift weight much more fluidly and effectively without always pushing down with so much force, which can be problematic in many situations. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. And I also do want you to join the channel as a member to show your support. Thanks for watching.